everyone, what's going on? Moth Marauder here, and welcome back to another edition of my figure review series. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Titan Hero Series Venom figure made by Hasbro. So yeah, first things first, let's start with detail. Now when it comes to accuracy, um, I'm not too sure which specific Venom this is supposed to represent or be, you know? So, as a result... Um, I'll go ahead and skip accuracy and just move on to sculpt. So yeah, the sculpts are on here, or the sculpt on here is, well, there's not a lot, honestly, but it's like the sculpt of like the body and the arms and stuff is pretty decent. Like there's no additional texture and all that, but it's, well, you know, still pretty decent. So yeah, and then you have the teeth and, um the hands here, the claws or whatever. I really like how they made the claws look so inhuman and all that. That's pretty cool. So, yeah. And, um, well, while the teeth may look, well, pretty good, I actually wish they were a little bit larger, a little bit more, um, well, yeah, I just wish they are a little bit more larger. So, yeah. But that's just me, though. So, yeah. And you probably can't see it, but they have, Venom here has a uh, six pack, so yeah. And um, on his arms, there are some, um, these etchings and stuff. I mean, without a doubt, um, probably from the symbiote infection and all that, that Eddie Brock obviously has. So, yeah. So yeah, um... Sculpture is all right for the most part, so yeah. Lacking in a couple of areas, but it's all right, so yeah. And paint job. Paint job is really, really nice. Really accurate. He's, you know, black with a tarantula thing on his chest. Or I think it's a, tar a tarantula, but yeah. He has the black and the white tarantula thing, and white eyes and stuff and the red mouth so yeah paint up ah, god damn it paint job is really really nice on this figure really accurate and stuff although one thing that kind of bothers me is um so you can see the tarantula logo or whatever this thing um it only stops right here i wish it would like go I wish it would reach back here. But aside from that, paint job is really well done. So yeah, that's my only real complaint with the uh, paint job. So yeah. And articulation, he has quite a bit. I mean, as you saw, you know, the arms can move like that. They can also move in and out like that. And, um, the hands here move, rotate 360. So, yeah. And the legs can also move 360, well, I mean, not 360, but they can also move up and down like that. And they can move in and out like that. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for articulation. That is about, um... Let's see, one, two, three, four, six points of articulation. So yeah, it's quite a bit. So, yeah. And last but not least, rarity. Now, like I said, this is part of the Titan Hero series of figures made by Hasbro. Sorry about that, guys. But anyways, um, yeah, this figure should be pretty common, I would assume. So, yeah. I mean, I didn't get it myself, um, my family got me this, and, um, from one of the local grocery stores around here, so I, I would have to assume this is pretty common, so yeah. And I've seen other figures similar to the, either similar or they're part of the Titan Hero series as well, so yeah. So, like I said, Venom here should be pretty common for the most part, so yeah. If you can't find them, you can probably look this guy up on um, Amazon or eBay or whatever uh, 
browsing website or whatever you prefer. But yeah, you can probably find this guy on eBay. I mean, uh, Amazon. So yeah, and that's yeah, that's pretty much it for this review. Detail is all right. Um, paint job is pretty good. Articulation he has a lot, six points. And rarity he should be pretty common I think, or at least that's my guess. So yeah. In the end, I give Venom here a 3 out of 5. A 3 because um, I wish they would have improved um, the detail in a couple of areas, such as like giving them larger teeth, and, um, and for the paint job, I wish they would have um, put the, like, um, I wish they would have had the spider legs go all the way to the back area here, so. Yeah. Aside from that, this is actually a really nice figure, and as well as my very first Venom figure. So, yeah. Despite my score of giving it a 3 out of 5, I really like this figure. So, yeah. And, of course, I'm a huge Venom fan. So, yeah. He is my number one favorite Spider-Man villain, after all. So, yeah. And as well as my, as one of my most favorite villains of all time. So that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you have, give it a like. Subscribe if you want to see more content from me. Um, leave a comment below or in the comment section. Why not share this video with your friends? So yeah, once again, that is a 3 out of 5. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.